Oh, it's a masochist. 100% a masochist. I've just looked at their username. Masochist. Master Duel. The official Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator. A game which contains a ranking system that goes all the way from rookie to master. And I'm here to find out if it's possible to get to master using only legacy packs. In this series, I'll be following a few rules on the road to master to see how far we can get. The rules are as follows. No crafting cards, no buying packs, only opening legacy packs, and only using the cards I opened in legacy packs. There is one exception, being cards that drop from the end of matches, but they are not very impactful and are on the same level as legacy packs. Let's see how far we can make it up the ladder and dive into the challenge as we take on the legacy ladder. Hello everyone and I hope you are doing well. You know what time it is. It is Legacy Ladder time and uh, it's been a little while since I played on this account and I say that every couple of episodes because uh, I feel a couple at once and then I do another couple. Uh, so let's get into this. I think we left with a Legacy pack I believe. Yeah we have a single Legacy pack. Maybe this will have something good in it. Let's see. I doubt it. No nothing good by the looks of it but Maybe we get a good attack guy. Oh, an extra deck monster. Okay. Bubble Man and Buster Diet Tricks. I'm about to bush. Uh, <laughs> Pitch Black War Wolf. Okay, they cannot activate traps during the battle phase. That actually might be half decent, but I don't think that's going to make it in, but I'll double check. And uh, we'll hop into a couple of games. Every time with this, I, swear, I just start recording at the right time, I guess. Um, but we'll hop into a couple of games, and if we lose some... I will play some solo and get some legacy packs. So the last episode I asked, do you think I should be getting a craft every rank up, say from silver five to silver four, etc., etc.? The majority disagreed. You don't think I should get a craft each time, which is fine. I think this will make this that'll make the series too easy. Um, but people have agreed that once we get to platinum, where we don't guaranteed rank up, we can start crafting every rank. So that will be the rule going from now. But we still will get one craft when we go from say silver to gold uh just thought i'll clarify and thank you all for inputting in the comments what you think it's been very helpful to gauge what people want from this series so let's pop the bubble man in the, the steam healer and i think we have a 1600 that we can remove somewhere right we've actually gone past the stage of needing 1600s but we'll take out greffa actually no that has some synergy we'll take out Balloon Lizard, that's not very useful. And then we'll pop him in. Let's hop into some games, shall we? So personally, I'm going to say if we have five losses in a row, we're going to go hop in solo and get some Legacy Packs. Uh, just, <laughs> just so we don't get so hard stuck. Um, the Legacy Packs have been waiting for us the whole time. I haven't touched solo mode other than the very basics. Uh, so there should be quite a few Legacy Packs there, but it'll take some time. And uh, maybe I'll even just do a... Like a bonus episode where I just grind through solo if I get really stuck um, but let's see we're going second hopefully which is not bad oh, damn it dude <laughs> okay going first let's see what we draw we almost cut you night day greffa let's see if you can make this work well so far so good it seems he has a bad connection which means we might get a win here off the bat Nah. <laughs> okay, we're just going to summon the Greffa. This is our lowest, our second lowest attacker. Set the one that Mr. X attacks. And let's see what this guy's got. 15 cards in the extra deck. Trap Trick sleeves. So he's probably playing Trap Trick. I did not realise this field had a chocolate fountain. I might need to buy this field on my main account now. This actually does look really cute. Utopic Onomatopoeia. Okay. Armed Sage. Okay, so... so. <coughs> oh, God! Armed Sage just killed me. I'm allergic to Armed Sage. So he's just going to full Wombo combo here, most likely. Utopia Rising. If it's Special Summoned, you can add a ZW. We'll fast forward through the combo until we get to the battle phase, I think. Oh, shit! What the fuck? What did I miss? I looked away to respond to a trade message. Oh fuck. Yeah, th there's no way we're winning this. 
That was nuts. Welcome to silver, I suppose. Okay, we're going second, please. Please be nice to me, Mr. Blue Eyes Man. Okay. Not bad. Not bad hand. We got the Gopher. We got the Gaia Soul. I mean, this seems okay. I would have liked some spells, but please miss, please miss, please miss. Oh. Oh, interesting. Danger Blue Eyes. That's really bad that he sent that, because now there's going to be a Blue Eyes on the field at the end of the, fair, uh, end of the turn. Awesome. I can respect the plays. Dictator of D. Yep, he's pretty common. Yep, yep. Okay, we got the D, we got the blue eyes, and Jackal open, and another blue eyes coming out. Um, again, this is looking quite unwinnable. So I'm a little bit scared. IP. ICUP. Another stone? Synchro 9, what are you going for? Doesn't even have it royal. That's just a graveyard and a gate. And it can tribute itself and special and light dragon synchro. Okay. So I think he gets two blue eyes here from the stone. And that could be like jet. Oh my god, blue eyes sex dragon? Sex? Sex. That's the only reason they're running this, right? Oh, he's playing Chaos Max. Oh shit. We're going to see a lot more blue eyes now that the structure deck is out as well. That's quite scary. Because the second year anniversary blue eyes structure deck actually is quite good. Um, which isn't great for someone like me who's in low ranks playing against mostly structure decks. Let's see what we can do against this board, eh? Jesus. I mean, if we draw Lightning Vortex, maybe. That might be our out. Like, we're just dead here again. We're just straight up dead. Well, that's two. Two losses. Um, it's really looking like we're going to have to crack into our solo mode tickets, huh? Damn. I don't know. Maybe it's my bad... My bad vibes at the moment are causing this. I need to... Um, I need to up the vibes. Oh, I never realised that he has faces on his eyeballs. Am I the only one on this guy? Can you even see him? Is my camera blocking him out? Oh, no, no, you can't see him. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sure there's a law reason for that. Ooh, what a hand. Got a 2,000 attack and 27 defence. Ooh. Oh, and he's running the card. He's running him. There he is. Diviner of the Herald, was that? Dawn of the Herald. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. It's full Drytron. Again, we're just going to skip to the end of the combo and see if we can break this board at all, because... Ah. Ooh, that's not looking good, is it? It has been 23 years, and it's still his fucking turn. I'm going to perfectly be honest with you. I wish I had some form of hand trap. <laughs> Do you reckon I could just sneak a maxi in here and pretend it's um it's in the legacy pack? In this new update, they introduced a bug to the legacy pack. Get it? You get it. Holy shit! It's our turn. The fuck are we doing against this? <laughs> um, Phantom Griffin response. I mean, what can we really do? This is just... <laughs> I mean, we could draw Lightning Vortex, I guess. He popped my dude! Uh-oh. Uh... We found all the good duelists, guys. We found every single good duelist. 
Oh. Okay. Rescue rabbit. Yeah? Yeah. This is going to be a good match, right? Right? No blue eyes? No full power Drytron? Mm, default mat. How many cards in the extra deck? Oh, 14. That's interesting. I wonder what card he really didn't like on the deck list. He copied. Oh. Now, this is Yu Gi Oh! This is what we like to see. Oh, no. Tour Guide. That's a good card. What are you going to grab, though? Lilith, Lady of Lament. Is this Burn? <laughs> It's the only deck I've ever seen Lilith in. What? Muckraka? Grabbing what? Torgon? Or the, or the Lilith? Lilith. Okay. This is interesting. I, I've never seen Lilith played outside of Burn. And if this is Burn, it's a very interesting list. We do have the Strike Slash. So we can out something. We have a lot of good monsters. I didn't even like analyze our hand. I was too busy looking at the field. We have two 2000s uh, and Command Knight and 2100 defense, which isn't bad, to be honest. Okay, so attributing the McCracker to reveal three and I choose one? Yeah, randomly choose one. Trap Trick, Metaverse, Metaverse. Is it Stun? I don't know. I, I mean, that's got to be the metaverse, right? Is he going to bring out, like, Necro Valley? That's the only th Trickstar lights to... This man has got me in a loop. He's thrown me into a loop. Let's see. Show me Necro Valley. Ne Necro Valley? Lair of Darkness. Shit. <laughs> that's bad. Well, I need to crash then, because I need to stop him from tributing my monsters. So, Zombino, the two are so close. Becomes dark. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. To be honest. Oh my god, that's a quick effect, bro. I mean, even if I set this guy, he just attacks into it. And what was that? What was that? Second up, Ballista Squad. Oh, you contribute my monsters. Dude, this is such a losing matchup. How do you win this? Um, well, let's set the slash. Thing is, I summon something and then he tributes it. And he's got like three different tributes. Does he get the token as well? I get the token. But not that that does anything, you'll just tribute it. He's bringing back the tour guide. So we need Lightning Vortex again. And that's it. Okay, he's used the Ballista Squad already, which is good. Ah, well, the Strike Slash is gone. Unfortunate, but the tribute is gone, which is good. Who's that? Arima. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what am I going to do against this? Darkest Diabolos. Oh no, and he can summon that every time something's tributed. Nah, even Lightning Vortex doesn't win anymore. Ah! <laughs> this episode is shambles. <laughs> I thought we'd win at least one by now, you know? Hmm. Well, that's four losses. One more loss, and we're hopping into solo. Okay, well, this guy also has the default mate. And has a Japanese name and the default logo. Not that the Japanese name means anything. Wait, well, it does. I just don't know because I don't speak Japanese. It might not even be Japanese. Ooh, that's not a bad opening hand. 
yeah, we got 2000, we got destruction, we've even got the sword that we can't equip to anything. We can equip it to ball blade, but that doesn't matter. And the armor. I think we can win this one. And how many cards in the extra? Two. Two. Shout out to Simple Flips. Okay, I'm I think this might be self DK. And you know what? We we take those. What's this? I'm hoping that he's not doing anything with this. It doesn't seem like he is. Okay, yeah, this this got to be self DK, right? Surely. Oh. Oh. Just perfection. This is when he's fucking chain burn. Gale Dogra. I guess you pay 3,000 life points, right? I've only seen him in sub replay Fridays. Like, this guy enables so many dumb combos. So I really hope we're not in a sub replay Friday right now. He only has two cards in the extra. So. Oh, it, do you know what would be really funny? If he has a card somehow in the extra that burns him when it goes to the graveyard. Oh, just five headed dragon. Okay. Monster Reborn? Oh, wait, you can't. It wasn't. It's probably Fusion Smith. Ah! Oh, it's not even once per turn. Yeah, this guy. He did. Man, this combo is crazy. <laughs> I love that the self TK bot put in five headed dragon. Like, there was, there was another easier target to send to grave. He pulled the ultra rare five headed dragon. Unless it's in the starter deck. Two! Damn. End phase, yep. We'll take this win. We just have to hope for some legacy packs with some good cards in them from this game. Uh, let's just try and finish this off as quickly as possible. Zombino. What's this? Chain Burst. Each time a player activates a trap card, they take a thousand damage after it resolves. These are some cards I've never seen in self DK. And I guess Gale Drog... Gag Dogra uh, does have... A lot of damaging potential. Oh, it's all on a coin flip now, is it? Why Why would you run this? You can gain life points. Like, he might not die from this. And plus, this hasn't resolved yet, so he's not going to take a thousand. I'm so confused. I suppose he is a bot, so I can't I can't be too mean. What's this? One or eight. If your life points are lower than your opponent's, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's level one or eight, Mushroom Man revealed. And she can special summon it. Otherwise, the player who activated this life points become a thousand. The opponent gets eight thousand. But you're not dead. <laughs> you're the worst self TK bot I have ever seen. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just confused. I'm like so confused. He knows he can just pass, right? Mushroom Man 2. 2. Why is he playing the worst cards I've ever seen? Yeah, I guess you can attack that. Actually, you know what? Fuck Mushroom Man. He's too powerful. Ow! Mushroom <laughs> Man just died. <laughs> like, this does 10,000. I misread it. Okay, we win, right? Now we win. Surely. You have no more five-headed dragons? Cool. Well, at least we won one, but that does stop us going into the solo mode because he broke our lost streak. Please give me a legacy pack, dude. Why? <laughs> Please be a good god, at least. Oh. <laughs> what is that effect? When this card is changed from attack to defense position, you can place any number of cards from your hand to the bottom of the deck in any order you desire. As if that's going to be an effect you want to activate. Wow. Will this be the least successful Master Duel video yet? Or Legacy Ladder video yet? Also, I love this deck box, dude. I didn't even realize that's a thing. Lightning Vortex, Lightning Vortex, Lightning Vortex. Sorry, I got excited. That's the first time I've drawn it. 
Oh no. It's Exodia, but like a proper Exodia deck this time, not the... Not the, um, whatever we played against in the other episode. Well, in theory, this could actually go really well, because Exodia basically lives and dies on this Royal Magical Library, so... Wow, we shuffled back his whole hand. That cannot be a good hand. Please scoop. Please scoop. Yeah, that's fine. You, so he gets one more draw. Uh, if he's shuffling back everything, he needs to top deck, like, Bamboo Sword and Golden Bamboo Sword. Because he needs to get a card advantage to actually get all five pieces. Okay, upstart. Two more upstarts would hurt me. I guess it would heal me, but you know what I mean. Into the void. Okay, so he needs to win this turn. Somehow it feels like I have a much higher chance to win. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Two in a row, two in a row, yep. Yeah. My bad mood has shifted now. I can place cards at any order at the bottom of my deck. Let's see. Please give me a Lexi pack this time. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank God. We need these cards to be good. We need something. A secret mission has appeared. What is it, being good at the game? I've done that. Three packs. Let's do this. Damn it. Not even a single ultra or super. That's fine. We might get an upgrade. One curry way. Target one link, one monster in either graveyard. Return it to the extra deck or special summon it to its owner's field. Well, that's never happening. Power of Kaishin. Equip only to Aqua Monster. It gains 300 attack and defense. Nope. Both duds. We're not running either of those, unfortunately. What about this? Turtle Oath. Summon Crab Turtle. Yeah, nope. Mirror Gate. When your opponent declares an attack, targeting a face-up elemental hero monster you control. Switch control of the opponent's attacking monster with the targeted monster you control, then calculate damage. Control of both monsters switch back. I don't understand that card, and I don't really need to. I think we have a spark man, but I don't think that counts. Oh, goat staple. Yeah, that's going in. Uh, flip, draw one card, and then draw an additional card for each frightening car on the field. Scrum force. Well, you control two or more face-up defense position monsters. Your opponent cannot target defense position monsters you control with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card would be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy one card in your spell and trap zone instead. We might run it. Um, we do. Uh, problem is, if we're setting stuff in defense, we're already losing. And uh, if we get two defense position monsters up, then. Like. Protecting them is not going to do anything. I think we run it. I think we run it. Um, yeah, I, th I think we run it. But we definitely run the. Whatever his name is. The. Yeah, Dekoichi. Put Dekoichi in there. Let's take out the field barrier, and we'll put in Scrum Force instead of... Let's take out one of the monsters. What's our worst monster at the moment? Probably Manticore. I mean, it is our highest attack, but our other tributes are just so much better. Yeah, I think we get rid of Manticore. Okay, we have some new includes. Let's keep this win streak going, shall we? Let's get all the way up to gold without losing. Yeah. We don't need to go into the solo mode. We're too good at the game. Uh oh, he's about to rank up. Not anymore! You're going to lose. If you let me go second, that is. Thank you. You have lost. I hope you run into more Exodia, man. I never realised how good that was for the Maskis run. Well, for the Legacy run. That is a interesting hand. We have removal, removal, and attack boost. That's really good. Uh oh, it's full power trap tricks. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we'll skip to the end board, I suppose. Okay, end phase. Let's see. What's he got? He's got... He's got Sarah, a Reflesia, and a Pingulica. Ping, 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 Pingu. Pingu. Yeah, it's Pingu. Uh, unaffected by trap. So one of these gets the trap hole effects, which kills me. And they're unaffected by traps, which also hurts me. I think the goal here is to get this special summoned. This is it. Because then we can start getting our dual mission. So this game isn't going to be worthless if we lose. 
Imagine if he doesn't trap hole this. What? Okay, which is the one that trap holes stuff? That adds a trap trick. That... That's the hole. Do we just kill Sarah first? I think we can kill Sarah. And then Rathlesia next turn. Let's get rid of Sarah. Bull Blader effect. Oh, I shouldn't have activated the effect because he probably has a trap for that. No. <laughs> no, I didn't read. I didn't read. That's fine. That's fine. We lose anyway. We lose anyway. It's fine. Yeah, so it won't be destroyed. And I don't know why it wasn't destroyed by the effect. It's probably on this. Yeah, if it's destroyed by battle, that's fine. It won't be destroyed. I don't know why it wasn't destroyed. I'm sure there's a reason. I probably looked away when the reason happened while he was setting up his end board. Uh, it's probably one of these, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. He needs to extend a lot to kill me, so I kind of get it. In fact, I don't even think he'll kill me on this turn. Which is interesting. I probably should have set the strike slash, but I was so embarrassed that I uh, just passed turn. So embarrassed that I've got hiccups now. Massive shout out to Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian. There he is. If you can see him, really. That's one of my cats. That's what I usually do when I'm um, waiting for a board to end. You should just give him a couple of pats on the belly because he loves belly rubs. Okay, Atopus. Wow, she has an animation. I did not know that. Yeah, he's got lethal here, but at least maybe not lethal because we have the... What's he called? Ghibli. Studio Ghibli, yeah. Yep, yep. Pop my stuff. Do what you want. Just attack me directly. And don't negate this. I'll be so mad if you negate this somehow. As I ain't reading your cards, I'm going to lose. Yep, let's do it. Here he comes. One special summon out of five. Please don't. I mean, you can, you can trap hole it as long as it's not like... Oh, no, it's going to be Gravekeeper's trap hole because it activated from hand. Ah. All this time I spent waiting for you to finish your end board and you're not even going to let me special summon this guy. Damn. I mean, it's not once per turn. You can just do it again, right? Yes, okay, one special summon! It was all worth it! Why didn't he redeclare? Aww. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's like, the fuck is this? I'm not attacking that. Oh, wait, it does nothing. Okay, we got one special summon out of five. 100 points. 100 points. There goes our win streak, but that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, default pet. Fuck it, we'll go first. Let's set up our unbreakable end board of 53 Omni Negates. Literally 45 minute setup. Let's do this. I don't know what this is, by the way. This is meant to be like evil plotting, but... Oh, you're not ready for this turn one. I could go Defender, but... This gets us into Lightning Vortex every time, so we have to go for this. Are you ready for this unbreakable turn one board? Bam! Over to you. This is a bad turn even in Edison, which says a lot. Let's see if he has a better turn than me. Honestly, I doubt it. Sebastian does too. He's not even looking. He does not care. How many cards in the extra? I always forget to check. Three? Now, this is a good matchup. And he's even played the Forbidden Bad Connection card. I hear that negates your game. Oh, your game just got negated. Get absolute negated. <laughs> Can we do... Come on. What? Bruh. I mean, this is actually... 
Okay, hear me out. Blue eyes, this guy. That's the only factor that helps that card. Um, yeah, we're putting him in. Let's take out one of the two tributes, because blue eyes is going to get destroyed by that card. Um, I wish we got some legacy packs, though. I've just thought of a way we can guarantee legacy packs, because I know when you hit 100 gems from the the rewards at the end of the duel, it stops giving you gems. So if I play enough on the same day, I can guarantee either cards or legacy packs. That is good knowledge. I will... Uh, might have to try that one day. Maybe today. Never mind, it's like 10 o'clock. <laughs> but Lightning Vortex, that's good. What's this? Photon Trasher. Galaxy Eyes type thing. That's fine, actually, because they die to Lightning Vortex. Unless this is the play. Giant Rex. Think is we can't out a 21. So we're going to have to Lightning Vortex this, right? We can out a 21. Well, you control no monsters. Cannot attack if you control another monster. Uh, and then if this is banished, does it get special summoned? So what I might do... Nah, I, I can't attack the Rex and hope he summons another guy, right? That would be dumb. I mean, either way, it's Goblin Attack Force. Nah, we, we have to kill the Thrasher, because we can at least crash into Rex. How dumb is our opponent, though? Nah, we have to kill the 21. And let's put him in defense, unfortunately, but we got rid of the 21. That's good, and that trap is basically nothing, because uh, he didn't activate it. Oh, well, he can activate it here. That's that's worrying. wonder what it is. Oh, it's a masochist. 100% a masochist. I've just looked at their username. Masochist. It's masochist v masochist. Although, if he's using master, to, master pack cards, then he's definitely going to have an advantage. But this is going to be a good game. Uh, okay, tell us the little angel. If it's sent to the graveyard, special summon a token. While well, you control the token, you can banish this card from your graveyard on one spell. Special summon two tokens. Uh, and then you cannot special summon the rest of the turn. Okay. Okay. We can kill that. Um, we could vortex, but I want to get as many cards as possible out of his hand uh, before we vortex. So I think we just go for our second highest... I mean, I guess we'll go Regenerating Mummy just because it has an effect. Let's give him a token. Have a token. Enjoy, Masochist. Although, if he has a two tribute, I'm pretty screwed. Okay, he's got the token. That's fine. Let's set an armor. That's a really, really good card, especially against a Masochist. And let's see if you have a tribute summon. Please don't. That's all I'm saying. Do you have a spell card engraved? No, you don't. Okay, that's good. You can't special some more tokens. Token seller! Yep. I think we use the... How about we don't use the armor and then we use Vortex next turn and then it's an empty board. How long do we hold the Vortex? Because Vortex isn't on targeting. If he somehow has a boss monster, then Sakuretsu would be great. But he's more likely to pop the Sakuretsu than rip the Vortex out my hand. So I will actually use the armor. Because at least with the Vortex... Yeah, as I say, it's non-targeting. It's not set, so we can't kill it. And then I can just rip it. Uh, it's not like a Masochist can OTK me. So... Yeah. Draw. Dragon Seeker. I don't think that's going to be very good in this matchup. We can summon a Gilman. Oh, actually, if we summon the Sea Snake and it lives, Gilman actually has synergy with that. I never knew that. If this is a big defender, fine. I can after the struggle next turn. Let's kill the token. And let's see what this is. Probably a 2,000 defense guy. Right? Zero. 
Oh, but it's a targeted pop, though. Please don't kill my sea snake. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you've made a mistake there, Mr. Masochist. Pass back to you. Tempted to set the after the struggle as a bluff, uh, but it's still one piece of removal. And removal is, we, we need it. We need every piece of removal in this matchup. Oh, this match has me so excited. I'm hyped for this match. It's like the first time I know it's a massacre. It's like 100%. Okay, draw. Master Gig. Oh. Yeah. We need to get him out as soon as possible. Uh, Gilman. Oh, I shouldn't have put him there, but... Oh, I always play around Relinquished Anima, but I just got happy. Uh, let's not be greedy. A thousand. Does he have an effect? This card is summoned. Sends the graveyard to inflict a thousand damage. Damn. Ah, thing. Nordic Leviathan. Target one face up monster on the field that destroyed a monster by battle. Destroy it, and it can't be responded to. That's fine. I mean, it's not great. I wanted my gig, but that will do. I'm now scared if he kills this Gilman, I have nothing. Because these are two tribute monsters. 1800. Ooh. He might even have fire. <laughs> Shit. I hope not. Is that a quick effect? Oh my god, it is. I really hope he doesn't have a fire. I think we can survive uh, one more turn. Let's be really greedy. I don't want to use Lightning Vortex on one guy. I could get punished for this, but... Okay, no, never punished. Uh, once per turn, you can send a spell trap card from your zone. And bounce a monster. Uh, depending on what we draw here, we have to kill everything. Yeah, we have to kill everything. If he has another monster, we die. Let's discard the dragon, dude. And I guess we'll set the disturbance strategy. Not that it'll be very useful, but on the off chance he searches something. Or adds something back to hand. I mean, this is a masochist. Set one? Yep, 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 yep. Please, please. I hope that's it. Okay. Okay. Monster off the top. We just need a monster. We have like 30 monsters in this deck. Yeah! Hell yes. Normal summon Ball Blader. That's a good card. Please don't be like Trap Hole or something. He has Master Packs. I have Legacy Packs. This is the duel. Which Masochist is better, Legacy or Master? You can tell I get excited when I'm dueling. <laughs> you can just hear clicks over and over and over again. Uh, brother! That's a good card! Oh. Shit, man. At least it's still on the board. That's all we can ask for. 1850! Has it got an effect? You can add a dude. Cool. That's about it. Does this still get its effect? No, it's negated, right? Yeah, negated. Damn. Yeah. I mean, we'll scare him, right? I love doing that. Sometimes you get an extra bit of interaction out of someone on Master Dog just because they click the button. In real life, it doesn't work very well because they just go, oh, that's negated. Okay. 1850. We can out that. Not with that. Well, we we can. Um. Do we have to? That's the question. Do we really have to just after the struggle this? Unfortunately, I think we have to because otherwise this just dies anyway. After the struggle. This is certainly a struggle. Battle, swing, and then end step. Battle get popped. 
End turn. Damn. We need like a 2,000. That that will do it. These two cards have been dead for him, so I, I really don't want a disturbance strategy. I know some people in the comments will probably say, do it. But I generally think I'm just unbreaking his hand if I do that. Shit, maybe I should have. 1,700. That's fine. The first time... This card will be destroyed by battle or card effect each turn. It is not destroyed. If this card is destroyed by battle. Or if this card in its owner's zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You special summon one level four or lower abyss actor. I mean, I have a feeling that he doesn't have any more. Um, masochist and all that. Mm -hmm. We have about... At best, two turns in us, depending on this top deck here. Please be something over 1700. That's all I'm asking for. Oh. I mean, we can get another special summon for the mission, though. And it might keep us alive in this matchup, to be fair. If it keeps us alive for a turn, then that's all we need. But so far it's looking like master packs are better than legacy packs. I didn't I don't think we needed this game to find it out, but Okay, Baby Mantis Token. He's about to set up for a tribute. Let's pop it now. Let's pop it now. He's setting up for a tribute. If he doesn't draw a tribute. <laughs> It's a really long shot. Okay, he's not even setting up for a tribute. He's just going for it. We can stop that attack going through. Yep, there we go. And then he'll kill it. But that's fine. We got a special summon for our mission. Now we just need anything above 1700, please. Hell, even just 1700 is fine. What is that? Catch Eve... Level 2. Just a free special summon. Please don't have a rank 2. <laughs> that would be insane. Actually, no, do, do. Please do. I forgot I had this set. Oh, yes. I can use Oath of Companionship on Beat Cop. It doesn't really do anything. But I contribute it. Oh. That's good. That's really good. That keeps us alive. If we live on Sapphire, and uh, then we can get Gig up. We can only use this effect once, but... I don't know why I looked at my extra deck. <laughs> like I have anything in there worth anything. What a card. It just... I was just reading this effect, because it has a lot of text, and it just says... Place a patrol counter on a card by tripping to your monster. Oh, okay. If a card would be destroyed, it, it can, they can remove the counter. Okay. I thought they just put a counter on it for fun. 2,000? Brah. That's fine, but... If this card is destroyed by battle, you can add a fossil fusion. Yeah, you definitely don't have one, right? Yes, yes, yes. You will not pass. Gem Knight Sapphire. Gem Knight Sapphire! Okay. Okay, this is actually looking really good. We can get Gig out. By taking the Beat Cop. It puts us on really low life points. If he has another one of those, what were they? The Firecracker thing? Fire Trooper? Then we're a bit screwed. So that is now on not much attack, which is really good for us. The only way to out this sassy rookie is the Gig, I think. 2,000 attack. That's so good. Oh, we have a big choice to make here. Do we develop the gig? How greedy am I feeling? There is a set. I'm going to play it really safe. And go for the squatter. This guy must be like, What? 3,000 attack? Just like I was a second ago when I saw this guy. The weathering soldier. I think we can leave the Weathering Soldier up. Nah. 
Nah. Because whilst it loses attack, it does get destroyed. I'm going to assume it has no target. I really hope it doesn't. Because we can steal the beat cop. We can't kill the sassy. So we have to kill the weathering soldier. Please don't be a good battle trap, man. Okay, 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 okay. We can breathe. We can breathe again. Stop breathing. <gasps> oh, oh, he gets it back. That's pretty cool. Reborn. <laughs> Once per turn during your end phase. So he can crash into my 2000. <laughs> Did you know? I just had a really funny thought. What if he just went into access code? <laughs> like, he just straight up went into access code. That would be so funny to me. It's like, yeah, I'm a masochist, but I gave myself, myself access code. Just for fun. Okay. We are on top deck wars. I'm assuming he's going to crash the weathering soldier into my 2000. Unless he draws a tribute. Which I really hope he doesn't. He has his own gig! Thing is, even if I did steal the... Dude, he would still be able to summon Gig. But I'm dead! Oh. Oh no. What a game. What a game. So, an an analyzing the match, I could have stolen the Beat Cop, crashed the Beat Cop into the 17, killed the 2000 guy that got reduced. But then he brings it back with Kareeborn and then top decks Gig again. And if I went Gig using the Beat Cop, I use Gig's effect, pop one, and then he summons Gig. Yeah, I just lost from that position. Damn, that was a good game though. We, we almost got a reward from that. Destroyed 10 monsters give you 300. Oh man. I usually end on a win for a legacy pack. But you know what? That game was so good that that's going to be the final game. I don't think we can top that this episode. But I will. We did lose over five games this episode. I will go into solo mode and I'll just crank out one of the legacy ticket rewards. Probably two legacy tickets. Uh, just to give us a little bit of a boost. And I like to open the episode with opening a legacy pack. Uh, so that's what I will do. In fact, I will just do that now. Uh, but I'll just show you the end so you know I didn't just fucking cheat. Okay, so it looks like you have to go through quite a lot of solo mode to actually get some legacy packs. So we're definitely going to leave that for a bonus episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think I should do? I'm pretty set on doing the solo mode uh, to get some more legacy packs in. Because I'm a bit scared that we could even win against another masochist. Although it was a close game, it was fun. And in the comments, I also want you to think about what should be our super rare craft. It's coming up to the end of the season, which means we might get reset back down to bronze. I'm going to try and film another episode. Uh, so maybe we'll get gold, but just based on today's episode, I don't think it's going to happen. Anyways, as always, if you made it this far in the video, please do feel free to hit subscribe. New Yu-Gi-Oh! videos each week. And as always, happy dueling.